There's a saying, if you allow your passion to become your purpose, it will one day become your profession. Our job is to give people the opportunity at the fish of a lifetime. But on our days off, it's our turn. Finally, we get to go catch some bass. We've really been waiting all summer for the bass fishing to start to get right. And we finally got the call from our good buddy Blake and Blake says, come on, we're going. So we packed it up and headed into the middle of the state. Growing up in Ohio, bass fishing was what we did. I mean, it's, it was literally when we had the opportunity to get away from work, uh, you know, that was the thing. We, we loved bass fish. And we got away from it a little bit being saltwater fishing guides. But that, that's, that freshwater bass, man, it's, it's one of those things that everybody in the country understands and can relate with. Blake Smith has been a really good friend of ours for a long time. We met him maybe 10 plus years ago fishing the Redfish Tour events uh, all over, from Florida to Louisiana. And as we traveled, you know, we got to know each other. We're from the same area. So, you know, a lot of times, you know, you kind of buddy up with somebody when you're traveling like that. At one point, I think it was probably two or three years ago, he decided he was going to go straight bass fishing into the hardcore major bass tournaments. You know, we, we were super excited just to be able to have the opportunity to spend the day with him and kind of fish his home waters. Well, we are way out of our norm. And uh, we'll go see if we can catch some bass today. What do you think? I'm excited, man. This is uh, right here in the middle of the state, middle of nowhere, with our good buddy Blake. And you know, we've been red fishing against Blake for a lot of years. Yeah. And um, this is interesting to see him show us what he does now uh, on the FLW tour, you know? So yeah. I'm excited, man. I mean, I love catching bass. That's how I grew me, up fishing. Me too. Me First too. fish I caught. And uh, it's cool to get back in the swing of this over a lot of years, yeah. away from it. You know? We'll see if we can have some fun with it. What do yeah. you say? Now, I'm excited, man. This, I've been looking forward to this. That 2500 hybrid Pathfinder is the perfect tool for what we do on the west coast of Florida, east coast of Florida, in the salt water. Okay? When you take that particular boat into a freshwater environment, where everything's got virtually no gunnels and no towers and, and goes 75 miles an hour for the most part, uh, you are now looking at probably getting some strange looks shot your way. But they know as well as we know, we're all just there to catch that same fish, which is that bass. We started early on in the morning on really kind of a schooling pattern. And the fish were really on a bit of a bar, I think, more of like crushed shell type stuff. Um, but I think the reason we did that primarily is because we had a little overcast. Um, the overcast and top water and school and fish really kind of works together. So, you know, who doesn't like to get a top water bite? So we rolled out to this spot that, you know, Blake had really kind of dialed in. He knew the area that was going to hold some shad and there was no question the shad were getting just blasted by these largemouth bass. Oh. Look at that. Did you just Look at how I just rolled him. And a pretty de uh, nice decent one. one. Oh, he's right behind it. How am I not catching another one? I don't know, but he's not like great. You handle that guy? Yeah, I got him. I got him. Look at his coloration, huh? Oh, yeah. Got a little pumpkin to him. A little orange. Sure does. It's a beautiful fish. Look at her belly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's been eating well. That's a little aggressive little little dude right there. Our first stop was first thing in the morning, and it was absolutely beautiful. That, that's my kind of setting. Uh, the less noise, the less people, the happier I seem to be. And that's exactly what we were in this particular morning. The sun was just starting to peak out. We had a little rain falling. 
Fish were blowing up, shad. I mean, it was incredible. It was a sight to see. Man, they move quick, don't they? Oh, yeah, they Get do. Get him, Jake. <laughs> hey, that's a good bass, bud. I think that might be a decent. No, oh, stay down, man. Stay on there. Stay down. Keep him down. Oh, yeah, great. Oh, man. Oh, I, even, I got a mouthful, huh? I can't even see it, buddy. This is what Blake was telling us about. You're going to get him where you he can't even see it. He choked it. Yeah. Hang on, let me get you some de-hookers so we can work on him and take care of him a little bit. Okay, that one's loose. There. Oh! Look at that. Yeah. And right where they were blowing up on that bait. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're keying in on that thing, huh? Yeah. Very cool. Well, he's fat. He's been eating a lot of that shad, for sure. Yeah. Here it is pre-spawn for those bass, and they were kind of spread out, but in a lot of ways, when I say spread out, they were just in different parts of the lake, different things we concentrated on, but the area that we really fell in love with was fishing those pads. That fishing in the pads is like fishing in the jungle for the beast. And, you know, you pull on these swim baits across the top of that, those pads, and dropping it into a hole and you just the anticipation for that giant fish to come blowing up out of that water got him got him got him yeah whoa baby <laughs> that's him son <laughs> dude he smashed it coming out of that hey that fish train wrecked that swim bait. Whew. Man, you got a man size hook on this <laughs> I do. thing too, Bob. I was looking for man size fish. <laughs> Good deal. There you go, Jay. Shouldn't have any problem getting your hand in there. Woo! Man. <laughs> and you know there's some bigger ones than that, but man. Hey. I'll take that, that all day. Well, every day. That's a beautiful every day. fish. That was a, an exciting, that's as exciting a bite as you'll ever see. Dude, he ate it 10 feet from the boat. That was incredible, man. <laughs> I can't believe you got him out of there. <laughs> man, that's 50 pound braid, baby. Just come get you some. That's much needed. That's awesome. Holy cow. All right, we'll get her back in the water. When Jay had that big old bass blow up on that swim bait, I saw it happen and I immediately reeled my bait in threw it on the deck of the, threw the rod and the reel on the deck of the boat and went down to where I saw that bass coming boat side. And when I grabbed that thing, I mean, that thing's mouth was like, basically like a, like a not quite a five gallon bucket, but like a two gallon bucket. I mean, it was a stud. And uh, to lift that fish out of the water, that was, that was intense, man. That was a lot of fun. And truthfully, that's what we came over here for. This has been my first visit to Camp Mac, and it is set up absolutely incredible for the fishermen, and obviously that's its focus. Something simple as being able to back your boat and truck right up to your room, and you know, inevitably you need to plug it in to plug, you know, the, for the charger, for the trolling motor, the electronics, whatever. But a lot of times you have to run an extension cord through your windows or through your doors. In this case, they literally had plugs at the curb, which was, I mean, I was shocked. It was absolutely perfect case scenario for any type of fisherman that wants to go to a place that they've never been to before. It is top notch and a great place to store your boat and fish less than three minutes away. Does it feel like a good one? Come on. Uh-oh. Oh, he's got you in the grass. No, no. <laughs> Here, hold on. Let me let me get up go there. Go into him. Go into him. There you go. Gain on him. Well, I don't know about that. What 
is this fish wrapped on? There's the fish oh, right I there, see him, Jay. I see, see, him, him? I see him. Grab him. Grab him. He's like double wrapped on that. Oy. Yeah, I got <laughs> him, man. Look, I don't even see your bait. Like, he either smoked it or <laughs> look, he's hooked right there in the corner. Yeah. Did he swallow my bait? Yeah, he must have. Your bait's gone, bro. He, he was wrapped. Here you go. A little uh. Yeah, he was wrapped in that <laughs> whatever type of grass that is. Dude, it was getting so slick, calm, and so hot <laughs> and so hard to get a bite. Yeah, look how flat it is. I know. This was awesome. Well, thank you, sir. Solid fish. Look at his little battle scars from doing that. Oh, really? He was wrapped on something. Yeah, down he was. There. See that? Well, that stuff right there, we've seen it all day. It's I know. really, really tough. Yeah. That fish. That's a nice one. Not bad at all. We'll take it for a couple saltwater boys, huh? Two and a half. <laughs> yeah. For sure, man. Spending the day on the lake uh, was a real treat for us. You know, as I mentioned, we don't get much opportunity to fish on that side in that fresh water. Uh, I know that Pathfinder at Yamaha loves that fresh water. And it was a real treat to be able to just fish new waters, uh, spend some time with our buddy Blake, and really just kind of soak up a whole new side of Florida that we, again, we don't get much opportunity to play with. All in all, an incredible day on the water. Just an incredible stay at Camp Mac. Uh, Lake Kissimmee impressed me uh, greatly. It was a lot of fun. Jay caught that big old bass, and, and the blow up on that was incredible. And, and just the, the tension of, of getting him to the boat, and all the fish we caught in between. I mean, the numbers were incredible and, and much exceeded my expectations. It was awesome. Thank you.